Hi everyone, this is Arvind from All CPL. Topic for today's session: How to install MySQL Server Workbench and Cell. In this session, we will learn how to install MySQL Server Workbench and Cell. Let's start in the web browser. You can open any web browser. In Google, just type MySQL. Click on MySQL.com. This is official website of MySQL. Click on download. Just scroll and click on MySQL community download. Again, click on MySQL installer for window. Select the Microsoft window already selected. operating system and then click on second option window 86 and 32 msi installer 4 431 mb and the next option is login and sign up click on no thanks just start my download click on keep it will take 2 to 3 minutes depend on your internet speed just wait till the application is download okay. now mysql installer downloaded successfully just click click on the setup file again click on yes now again uh, this is important part click on custom click on next and in this section in mysql server select the mysql server this is our mysql server version click to add and in second part mysql workbench select this my was mysql workbench and next and last part mysql server mysql cell this three item i did successfully now click on the next click on execute now our installation is progress it will install one by one now all three component install successfully now the next uh, configuration part click on the next ready to configure mysql server ready to configure click on the next this is a default port 3306 keep as it is and click on the next use strong password encryption for authentication yes click on the next enter the password enter the password and you can also enter the user you can also select the user click on the add user you can uh, enter the user name user name and user role like a dba a db designer these are the different role available uh, if you want you can add this user for this installation i will keep not required click on next window service name mysql 80 keep as it is click on the next uh, this is uh, 
MySQL installer uh, is a data location MySQL data location keep as it is click on the next now next part uh, click on execute to apply this configuration it will take some time now configure successfully click on finish and finally we have successfully installed mysql database workbench and mysql cell click on finish this mysql cell is started as well as MySQL workbench also started now the next part check the installation path and set the environment variable C program file MySQL 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 server bin just copy this path and set the environment variable to set the environment variable just uh, edit system environment variable click on system environment variable and system variable in system variable path edit this path add new path click on ok apply now open the cmd command prompt in command prompt just type mysql hyphen hyphen version now mysql installed successfully mysql 8.0.31 installed successfully enter password login successfully root user login root user login successfully now display some databases type so databases these are the databases system databases available now these are the system databases uh, or we can say default databases uh, now create one database create database database arvind dv you can give any name and the semicolon is the end of the statement now query is ok one row affected now our database is created successfully arvind dv database created successfully in this way we can create the database in mysql now again we type show databases earlier it was display four databases now this time display the five databases now the next part go to the workbench now we are connecting to the workbench enter the password now we have successfully connected to the workbench workbench you can uh, say GUI part of the database here you can also create the database uh, table 
table, edit the record, insert the record. This is basically GUI part. In this way, we can install MySQL server, workbench and cell. If you have any query, you can write in comment section.